so it's quite early this morning and um, I'm gonna take Tyson to the vet before I start my day at work so ready to go to the vet we gotta go to the vet and get your boil checked out on our way to the vet right Bobo what are you looking at we're gonna get him all taken care of it's never ending with my puppa up, I swear. It's always something, but you know what? He's my child. I love him so much and I'd do anything for him. Tyson, you hear all the puppies? Wagging your butt and wagging your tail. What's all that noise, Ty? Hey. Ticey. Ty. It is raining so hard right now. Jiminy Christmas! Good thing I have my handy dandy umbrella. That's a good thing, because otherwise I would be screwed. Out here. Yuck. Yuck. talked to you guys a million times about this lip gloss but it is amazing how much better I feel about myself when I put lipstick on or lip gloss on I could feel really just plain Jane and then all of a sudden I put my Viva Glam Sex on and I just feel so much better like I feel like I could take over the world and that's another thing have you guys ever realized how often we say um or like I'm going to start and try to be more conscious of what I say because I, f I have found that if you don't say like and um in between sentences when you're trying to think of something to say, you sound more sophisticated. So I challenge all of you. Let's challenge one another to watch what we say and um, also, like, see? We say OMG or WTF so often that sometimes we lose social skills. I think that some of the, some using the internet and text messaging has made us lose social skills, I guess. Am I preaching right now? I feel like I am. But I really honestly feel that way because you don't really get to know somebody anymore. Like, see, there it is again. I have found that sometimes when you're out, somebody will, rather than say, hey do you want to go get lunch or would you like to can I have your phone number it's hey are you on Facebook hey are you on Twitter hey are you on YouTube it's not you don't want to get you you'd rather stalk somebody before you really get to know somebody is that weird I don't know where this came from and how it came about with my Viva Glam 6 but I mean I guess that's what you guys like about me right I just go on random tangents of talking about nothing so I challenge you back to what I was saying I challenge you all to say to to refrain from saying like and um and uh and I don't know what else but if you guys can think of anything else that you say as a filler um, leave them in the comments because I'd be very interested maybe you you have realized that I say something and I don't even realize it. I do notice that I say so often. Um, but yeah. So let me know. See? Gosh! This is horrible. If you guys start paying attention to what you're really saying, it's amazing. This is going to be fun. And please leave me video comment responses telling me, um, mm -hmm telling me some of the words that you often use as fillers. I think this could be fun. Please actually do it. I don't think anybody's ever really left me video responses when I ask them to. Hmm. I have, I have seen video responses and I appreciate those people that do do them. Heart. Even though I don't have my other side. Heart. That doesn't really work. Okay. I love you guys. Can you guys see that? It's a lost three-foot lizard. Three-foot lizard's on the loose in Bradenton. If you guys see a three-foot lizard that's on the loose, let me know in the comments section so I can call this person. It'd be great. We gotta help this person find their lizard. It's kind of a scary thing to lose. Three-foot? Ooh, that 
it's sad for anybody to lose anything, let alone their lizard or their pet. They'd die if I lost Tyson. I'm going to see him. I'm off work, so I gotta go check on him. Make sure that he's doing okay. My mom said that he's doing a lot better, but I gotta make sure that he's doing okay. Poor baby. His swollen stuff. All right, I'm just getting home from work. Um, I actually went to Walmart and picked up some stuff. Now I'm taking care of my little babies. He's sleeping. Hey, Kobe. Kobe. Go on your back. Come on, Kobe, do it again. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Tyson likes that. You're making him laugh, buddy. <laughs> okay, Tyson. Or Kobe, sorry. Kobe, I just called you Tyson. <laughs> He's smiling. I'm a grown up now. I have my own toaster. I guess I didn't pack it. I just want you guys to know how amazing of a packer I am. I already have stuff in there and there, so now I'm gonna fit more stuff. Look at my fondue fountain. Oh, you can't make it upside down. Fondue fountain. We're gonna have to play with that. That'll be fun. How are you feeling? You're so good. Proud of you. We're going to see Friends with Benefits! Woo! With Mila Kunis. She's so hot. And Justin Timberlake, he's even hotter. Yay. Yeah. Alright, I just got home from seeing Friends with Benefits. And it was really funny. Um, definitely R-rated, so any of you that, um, are underage, do not go see it because it is definitely R-rated, but it was really cute. I mean, I just love Mila Kunis. I think she is absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. I think that um, she just has really natural beauty and she's one of those few women in Hollywood that I think that could get away with just being very natural and funny and sexy and just kind of like a guy's girl, like a girl's guy, or what, a guy's girl? A guy's girl, a girl's guy, whatever. She can be like one of the guys. She's just really awesome. And Jester Timberlake, he's just awesome. Even though I was, I was a Backstreet Boy fan over in sync, but you know what? I like Justin Timberlake. He, he's an amazing actor. He definitely, he definitely did really well. I never saw The Social Network, so I heard that he was phenomenal in that movie, but I never saw him, but... I do want to show you guys something. So when I go to a movie, I'm always freezing. So I decided that when I go, I, well, I'm always freezing, first of all. And um, I go dressed like it's winter time. So people look at me. I'm wearing my Ugg boots. Go ahead. You guys can make fun of me in the comment section. But you know what? I was nice and warm. I was toasty. So I wasn't mad. I was not mad at all. But I did wear a three-quarter sleeve. Um, so I did box, I did have bo I boxed up a lot of stuff, well, these are just two boxes, those are my glasses and fragile stuff. Um, and then I've got like five or six other boxes in the living room, and like, probably eight small boxes of just random stuff. But, obviously the big stuff isn't going to be packed up until the day of the move. Um, but I'm really excited, I'm getting really, really, really really excited. And, um, oh, an update on Tyson. He is sleeping in his puppy kennel again. Um, last night, the boil busted. I guess that's the correct terminology. Um, but it was, it was about this big starting out yesterday, and then it doubled by last night about 12 o'clock, which I said in my, um, video yesterday, today, my tweet. I don't know, they're all running together, but either way, we went to the vet, it was drained, he's on antibiotics and pain meds, so I want to thank you guys all for your well wishes for my big boy. You're right, he just doesn't get a break, though. <laughs> I feel really bad, but you know what, he's a trooper, um, and he is sleeping in his puppy kennel, and I feel weird with him not sleeping with me, but soon enough, it'll be all gone, and... We'll be able to sleep together again, my, me and my puppy, my dog and me. Isn't that a show? My dog and me, uh, something in me. All right. Obviously, I'm becoming delusional. So, good night, all. Thank you for watching again. You guys are amazing. 
please remember to thumbs up, leave comments, and smile. Because a day should never be spent without smiling. Oh my god, that was so lame. I'm going to bed. Good night. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Tara and I are going. We're going at separate times, but finally getting my hair did. Ugh, it's a mess. All right, good night, Bobo. Hey, done. Good boy. Good night.